and see help by signing Wes Craven star CJ Mims, but the Pirates ended up getting a two for one deal from the Mims family today. Let's start with CJ. The Wes Craven senior was committed to the Pirates since this past summer. He held that commitment and with family and friends around him, CJ signed his national letter of intent to play in Greenville. You know, it's truly a blessing to be able to stay hometown or stay near hometown going to ECU, which is 30 minutes away and then play for the hometown team. And then to add to the drama, his big brother Chandre had a secret to tell his brother. He is also transferring from Charleston Southern and playing his final year of eligibility with the Pirates. The family secret outed this morning and the Mims clan thrilled the two brothers separated by four years in age will play together for the first time ever. You know, so we always joke and kid and play around like, man, I wish we could play together. But now it's just like dreams come true. You always dream about playing together with your little brother, man. And we back in front of the city with it in hometown. You can't beat that. Like It really felt unreal just to know I'll be able to play with my brother. My older brother, I always, I like that. I've always looked up to. He really taught me, really taught me everything I know. So now it's truly a blessing just to be able to play on the field with him. Chandre has already graduated from Charleston Southern and will enroll at ECU and start working out right away. He'll be joined by his brother later this summer. Hey, a couple of players signing to play in the ACC in the area. J.H. Rose star Michael Allen signed his letter of intent to play for NC State. The dynamic running back said when it came to committing to state, it all came down to one word. Family, family, they, it's truly a pack. And I, I, just, I just love how they made it feel and everything, just going up there to visit. So I'm, I'm, I, I love how they make it feel that it just doesn't feel like I left home. Oh, they're getting somebody to go come in and work. They're going to put their head down and work, not too much talking. I'm going to come in there and do what I know I need to do, do what needs to be done. And I'm, I'm extremely ready to get started. Allen led J.H. Rose to the 3A state championship game. Now he'll try to add his dynamic speed and playmaking ability to a Wolfpack team that had double digit wins this year. They return a lot of players and will be one of the favorites to win the ACC next year. Washington Pampack star Terry Moore signed his letter of intent to play for Duke. The senior running back kept his commitment to the Blue Devils despite the fact they have had a coaching change. Scary Terry says it's just too good of an offer to pass up. But after we actually got Coach Elko and I got to go meet with him, um, after meeting with him and understanding like the things that he does, and that's what really made me know that like Duke is the place for me. Former Duke coach David Cutcliffe wanted Terry to play safety. We'll see what the new coaching staff does with more when he enrolls in January. And Wallace Rose Hill star Kanye Roberts, who had 64 touchdowns this season alone, signed his letter of intent to play for Appalachian State. This day means a lot to me because ever since I was a little boy, I wanted to be playing college football. And that was one of my goals during high school was to get to this level. And me going to this team means a lot because they really stuck with me from the jump. Roberts excited to go to Boone. Remember, he lost everything when his home was flooded out by Hurricane Florence three years ago. He is set to enroll this summer. I'm Brian North for News Channel 12.